first off, Isaiah, I know you said you, you're not focused on it or you weren't thinking about it in the game, but to think about the fact that you have 100, 179 block shots, less than two seasons here, um, I mean, what does that record mean to you? And, and maybe speak to what you've accomplished since coming here to Eastern. I mean, it's crazy. You know, if you told me like two years ago when I was first entering the transfer portal and told me all this stuff, you know, breaking the, the you know, season record for blocks and then breaking the shot block record or getting like first triple double in school history, you know, I never would have, I would have laughed in your face. <laughs> Honestly, I would have never believed you. But, you know, it's just, it's great. You know, I always got to give it to the Lord, man. You know, uh, he's he helped me through all that stuff, you know, back when I was, you know, still sitting and, and not playing. And, and obviously, you know, my parents and stuff, you know, they, they supported me throughout, you know, the entire process. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just stoked about it. Really, I mean, just the, I mean, I know a lot of it has to do with fit and, and playing time and everything. But did something click, especially from from a block shots perspective, when you went from Western to Eastern, just in terms of your ability, your timing, your, your ability to get up there and, and just you know make all that stuff happen? Yeah, I, honestly, I could always. It wasn't like a click. I could always block shots. I just never got the chance to really showcase that I could I could block shots until you know I was at Eastern and I started uh, playing and stuff. But you know, it's always kind of been a, a natural thing. I've been able to new, do, and you know, it, it was e it's, you know, thankfully easy for me to do, just sort of expand on it and prove, prove that, make it part of my game. For both you guys, I know you, know, you never want to lose a game, but the way you guys responded to losing at Queens, winning at Kennesaw, winning in front of a, a crazy crowd here tonight, just what does that say about this team that was able to, you know, take a, a loss in conference play for the first time, but come back and, and put together two impressive wins? Uh, I just think it shows that we like got a championship mindset. You know, can never, can never have back-to-back -back losses. That's our mindset, you know. Every L we take is a lesson, and we learn from that lesson quick, and that's what you got to do. Just the, the atmosphere here tonight, I know it's a, a late tip-off. I think there's more than 4,000 people here. It seemed pretty loud, you know, from where I was sitting. Uh, just how much did the crowd help you guys tonight and what that atmosphere kind of looked like? No, nah, it was electric, you know. It was a lot of fun playing out there. It was, it was incredibly loud. I can't, I can't even hear a coach calling plays, but um, they meant a lot. Them coming out. And showing support, it meant a lot to us, and we came out with a lot of energy because of them. Does it? Do you guys talk and think about what winning now could mean to playing the whole tournament here in this building, and what that would be like? Does it ever cross your mind at this point yet? Or I mean, honestly, all the time, like we want to play in front of everybody. We want to play in front of Richmond. That's, that's our goal. We want to get that number one seed because we know how important it is, especially when every home game or whenever when you number one seed, you get every home game. And having having the y'all guys around us is just a big advantage, and we we want that. Speaking of playing in front of Richmond, I mean, both y'all had really good games. Well, you guys played in front of the whole country tonight, and is that a little bit cool that you know people probably out in California are watching you guys ball out tonight? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, it's. It's definitely a crazy experience, you know, um, with all the, the stuff that they were preparing before the game and stuff, all the cameras and everything. They had the little the smoke and everything uh, when they were introducing us and the light show. That was fun, uh, you know. But uh, I think the best thing about it was that everybody, you know, showed out in terms of our fans, and, and it, it just helped us all the more to play, you know, the, uh, to our you know fullest potential, be able to uh, show out in front of them. Uh, basically what he said, man, it's not every day you get to play in front of millions of people. And um, we just got to soak it in, just had to soak it in, just go out there and play. Next game, every game in conference is hard, but y'all got number of second place Stetson coming up the road Saturday. I know it's game by game, but you know, what's the mindset going into number two? You beat him, you get an even bigger lead for first. Y'all confident, like, it's the next game, we just got to go in there and beat him. Yes, sir. On to the next. That's yeah. how we look at it. On to the next. Got a saying called the most important game of the year is always the next game. Mm -hmm. I guess going off that two game lead in, in the conference with six to go, what's going to be the, the most important thing to close it out and make sure that the conference tournament's going to go through Richmond? Just keep stacking days. You yeah. know, you can't perform good if you don't stack days throughout the week. And that's, that's what Coach. Drilled it, drilled in our heads throughout the whole year is stacking days, stacking days, and we just got to continue to do that. Right, building off what he said, you know, basically the same thing, just staying together and stacking days. You know, every day in practice has to be a good day, uh, especially this late in the conference. You know, the, the margin of error is so small. 
you know, teams, you know, win off upsets, triple overtimes by a hair. So, you know, you just got to just keep moving day by day by day. But it's it's definitely easy when, you know, you have a group of guys around you that you can really vibe with that's like family, you know, and, and are as close uh, as we are, you know, as a team.